our reporter Kenny Mapanga uh, was at the march and filed the following report for us. To you live from the Hoshi Mampuru prison where the alliance just concluded yet another mass mobilization in the form of a protest against the imminent release of Chris Hani's killer, Mr. Yanush Walush. Of course, as this release is expected on Thursday, there are still many questions in the air regarding how this process will work to assist us in establishing this. I'm joined by DCS spokesperson Mr. Singabako Mumalo to give us further details regarding the subject of all this debate in the country, Mr. Yanush Walush. Uh, first, let's start with his condition right now. I know last night you said that he was stable. Um, how is he doing today with his release expected tomorrow, on Thursday? Uh, we can confirm that Mr. Janus Walus remains stable, but our healthcare professionals are monitoring him. You will un understand he's 69 years old and uh, with a stabbed wound, it's therefore critical that um, he does receive um, uh, medical care until such time that we get a green light where he could be uh, transferred back into his cell. But what gives us comfort is that there's not been any emergency where perhaps something major needed to be done. Uh, so so he remains stable. As you speak now, he's still in the prison hospital. As I speak to you, our healthcare professionals are dealing with him. And as we speak now, there is no chance that he would be discharged later tonight or in the morning. Our healthcare professionals will give us an instruction whether he could be taken back to his cell or he will remain with them. Uh, it's a professional area. We do not interfere with that. They will guide us. What is important at this stage is to ensure that appropriate care is afforded to him. Okay, and we understand that life is full under the Ministry of Justice, but the DCS plays a critical role in ensuring that this parole process works accordingly, yes. right? Um, have you received any communication from the Ministry about his pending release or his imminent release tomorrow? The Minister will make his decision and communicate that to the public. And at the right time, he will do so. And by then, the Department will be ready for whatever decision that the Minister would have made. So is DCS saying that the minister has not communicated on Walush's release yet? You have not received any communication or instructions regarding that release yet? He's the Minister of Justice and Correctional Services. So when he gives us an instruction to say, this is a decision that I've taken as a minister, we'll then have to implement that. Okay, I'll, I'll leave that there. Um, there's also further developments. The Minister of Home Affairs saying that he's granting an exemption. The SACP and the Dimpo Honey family saying that they have filed that rescission application. Do these steps not um, have any type of implication on what you're doing with the release of uh, Walush? Can that uh, release be delayed because of these papers that were filed in the Concord, as well as this, uh, what appears to be, might be a dispute about whether he's staying in South Africa or going back to his home country of Poland? I think the lawyers will do what they need to do. Uh, but uh, as I've said, the correct authority in this case being the minister will make his intentions known and that will be communicated to the public. I do want to believe that the minister st still has time and at the right hour, at the right time, he will do so. So as we stand today, we should not expect uh, any form of a release tomorrow of Mr. Walush. I mean, South Africans are in the dark here. Are you able to assist us? The minister will make it a point that uh, the society at large does find some light when he makes his decision. Okay. Is there anything that you could share with us further uh, regarding this parole process? I think what is critical to understand is that um, uh, the Correctional Services Act uh, does make for a number of provisions uh, how people are to be treated when incarcerated. Even also, let's say someone's being placed on parole, what needs to happen? And that are different regimes even within our parole system. Perhaps when we have time, uh, some other time, we can break that down because we also understand that majority of our citizens, at, at somehow they don't fully have a, a, a comprehension in terms of how our parole system works. So I think the honest is on us to then explain it to the, uh, to the public so that they then appreciate if a person has served the time, once placed out, what does it mean? All right, thank you so much. That was the Department of Correctional Services just giving us an update ahead of this imminent release. However, remaining mum on those details. So South Africans uh, will possibly still remain in the dark about how this process will follow.